Welcome back. This time, we'll solve for example number 5. That's 1 over x squared plus x plus 1 equals 4 over x squared plus x. Now let me share my whiteboard so that you can do a demonstration solving of how is this solved. In example number 5, remember that's 1 over x squared plus x plus 1 equals 4 over x squared plus x. We have the same denominators. So our LCD is x squared plus x. We multiply our LCD to all terms of the equation. So we have 1 over x squared plus x. You multiply this by the LCD plus the next term is 1. Multiply by the LCD. And the last term is 4 over x squared plus x. You multiply this by the LCD. We can sell this once. Since they are just the same with the LCD, then we solve on the remaining parts. We have 1 plus, we do the distribution proper, property, distributive property. So we have x squared plus x. On the other side, we are left with 4. Since this is a quadratic equation, then we need to write it in its standard form x squared plus x plus 1 minus 4 equals 0. So we have x squared plus x. Uh, sorry, that's not plus. That should be minus. Minus 3 equals 0. This could not be solved using factoring. So we use the quadratic equation. So use the quadratic equation, we need to identify our A, B, and C. Based on x squared plus x minus 3 equals 0, our A is 1, our B is 1, our C is negative 3. So we solve using the quadratic equation. That's B squared plus not B squared that will be negative b plus and minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So we have negative 1 plus and minus negative 1 squared minus 4 times a times c over 2a. So we have negative 1 plus and minus, what, negative 1 squared is 1, negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, times negative 3, it's positive 12, over 2 times 1 is 2. So we now have negative 1 plus and minus square root of 13 over 2. That's the value for our x. So again, the values of our x could be negative 1 plus square root of 13 over 2, or it can be negative 1 minus square root of 13 over, not 12, over 2. These are the two roots of our equation. This ends example number 5.